I got to say, I think it's a tragedy. Uh, I'm very ashamed of the vote and, the, and the, of the direction that this country has taken. I've got to be honest with you. I've been a Hillary fan for a long time uh, because I really believe that it was time for a woman to be president, but also that we adhere to, uh, to and continue American values of welcoming people, of service, of commitment to honesty and and uh, the community at large. And as far as I've seen, Mr. Trump has never stood for anything other than himself. He's and he got away with it. So there you go. We'll see what happens. What about the pollsters? They they seem not to have their pulse on the public. You know, pollsters, smallsters. <laughs> I, you know, people seem to think that they know things. All they know is the data that they have collected, and you don't even know how they do that. Look, I've been in politics now for, for some time. I will have completed four terms in the county council. I've run four successful uh, election campaigns. And I will tell you, the word in the, in the political environment is that about 90% of money spent in campaigns is wasted. Uh, but you don't know which 90%. Everyone will disagree. But what they think got them to the point where they needed to go. I think people are too dependent on uh, people who make a living out of trying to predict something. And I do think we were betrayed by the media in, in this campaign. I don't think that the American people got a fair and balanced um, uh, set of reporting on uh, the candidates and the issues. And is, is this a conversation you're having with some of your colleagues behind doors about well, future campaigns? Well, no, uh, not particularly, but I think what it reminds um, us as decision makers is that policies need to be understandable and understood by the community at large. And when we are making decisions, we tend to not uh, translate this into language that is um, received by the community at large. So it's very difficult to help people understand why decision, decisions are made, why certain policies are established. Um, Mrs. Clinton is a policy wonk. I guess I feel that kind of strongly uh, and I'm a little sensitive about it because I feel that I am too. And uh, I, we have to remember though that our policies need to be uh, uh, respectful and, um, again, also written in a way that, so that we do not make people feel that they're excluded. And a, a lot has been written on this recently, and I've actually circulated some uh, column about this, uh, I think it was, a, it was in the New Yorker, the New York Times recently, on this very subject. When you make people feel excluded by complex formula, um, or, or te very technical analysis, you, you, they get angry. And that's not okay. And it's something that we need to be aware of in government, particularly as our rules, our systems, our challenges are, are really pretty complicated. And you know, it's hard to boil all that down to sound bites, but that's what we kind of have to do.